hi guys in this video we are going to discuss the problem maximize the minimum maximize the minimum power city from lead code by weekly contest 95 uh, this problem isn't actually that tough but i myself messed up during the contest itself so if you also messed it up don't worry you are not alone i tried using segmentaries over here i don't know what got onto me i started with segmentaries and for some reason it was going wrong answer so yeah we'll be discussing this now so the problem states that you are given a zero index integer array stations of length n where stations i represents the number of power stations in the ith city each power station can provide power to every city in the fixed range in other words the range is denoted by r then a power station at the city i can provide power to all the cities j such that i minus j so basically it can uh, provide uh, electricity to all the cities to its left and to its right so that's what they're saying Okay, so then they are saying that this means absolute uh, absolute values and all that stuff. So cool. The power of a city is the total number of power station. It is be, uh, it is being provided with the power from. The government has sanctioned K build. Ha, the government has sanctioned building K more power stations. Each of them can be built in any city, and have the same range. So given two integers R and K, return the maximum possible answer of a city. If the additional power stations are built optimally. Okay. So let's get started with this question. So what they want us to do is that it's a city. Let's say this is a grid. So there are power stations everywhere. So let's say okay, let me draw the power station in the city itself. So let's say there are three power stations over here, two over here. So n number of power stations could be in a city. They also mentioned uh, mentioned uh, integer r. So what r would do is that let's say r is equal to two. That means this city can fetch power from Two on this side, and two on this side. So basically, it can fetch the powers from power stations that are distant two from it. So it will go till here. What if uh, R was one? Then it could have fetched power only from the one neighbor it had. So if R was equal to one, it could have only fetched the power from this city. And similar for this city, this city can fetch from this and this. So cool. That makes it clear. So what we have to return is. So let's say we are able to build k more power plants. So k more power plants would actually mean adding k more nodes over here, right? So if we are allowed to build k more power plants, what would be the city that would have be having the ma minimum value, right? So over here, if you see, uh, if r is equal to let's say one, then for the city, the value value would be or the number of connected power plants would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine for this city, the number of connected power plants would be three and five. For this, the number of connected power plants would be four, six, and three nine. For this, it would be three seven and uh, eleven. For this, would be seven, right? So these are the values. So over here, the city that has the minimum value is five. So we can return five for this. Now what we want to do is that we want to add k power stations and increase this number. So we have to increase. The the minimum possible value, right? I hope that made sense. So how would we go about it? So a very trivial observation or a very easy observation is that we since we want to minimize the value, so if it's possible, if it's possible to get answer let's say x, then it's always possible to get a answer y such that y is less than equal to x. That makes sense, right? If I'm able to get answer five by adding some st uh, like by adding some Stores or some power power stations over here, then I'll definitely be able to get answer four or three. Although that's not optimal, but that's always possible. So when we have this kind of a structure, that this is the optimal value, and even all the previous answer are also possible. So we can also construct them. So we use binary search. That's exactly what we are going to use over here. So with binary search, we are going to tell that what would be the minimum value for this. So we can say that the low would be Anything like zero, the high would be something like one e ten or one e fifteen. Uh, guys, one more thing. If I hope that you guys are familiar with the concept of binary search. If you are not, let me know. I'll make a video on that. Uh, if you are not comfortable with binary search, let me know. Uh, I'll make a video on that. Uh, that then you can watch it and then you can come back to the video le later so that you have more concept clarity. So cool. So now what would happen is that the mid. Would be low plus high by two. That's the standard binary search. So we'll be checking for all the values, like for uh, which value this, uh, this, uh, like this structure, would give me the value x. So if I'm calling 
So I'll make a function, let's say possible. I'll give it the value that I want you to give me a minimum value of mid, right? This is my power stations. This is my R, this is my K. So you are allowed to build K more power stations. Is it possible for you to give me a minimum value uh, minimum value of mid? So I'll be asking my uh, my function that I've written. So it will return me a true or a false, right? How would it do that? How would it do that? So now that's the question. So what I can say is over here, I'm, a, I'm having an array. So let's say this is the array. This, this had one power station, this had two, this is one, this is four, this is five, any number. So this particular power station can fetch power from R number of stations. So let's say my R was three. So it can fetch power from up till this station. Isn't that correct? So I can say my sum to be one plus one, one plus two plus one. So it's four. So if my, uh, so for the first power station, I'm already having a value of four. So I'll check if my value of mid that th that's the value I'm asking for that it should be the minimum value that I'm able to attain. So if my mid is less than or equal to sum, good enough. If it's greater, like if mid is greater and sum is smaller, then I need to add some stations. So what would be the best place to add the stations? So the best place to add the stations would be at the end greedily, right? Because even if I add a station over here, it would benefit no one because no, no station is over here actually, right? So it would be best if I'm able to add it at the end where it's beneficial, right? Because once I add it over here, it could serve these, these stations as well. So yeah, I would be adding the station over here. How many stations do I need to add it? I only need to add mid because mid is the value we want to satisfy mid minus some number of stations. So let's say my mid is six and over here I'm just having four stations in connectivity. So I'll just add two stations to it, right? I'll increment it. So now this would become three. Cool. Now I'll go to the next window. So I'll now go to two. So now I'm starting at two. So the range of two extends still here, right? Let me clean it up a bit. So it becomes clear. Okay. Okay. So I'm now standing at two. The range of two goes up till, I guess, here. Okay. So K is equal to two. Yeah. R is equal to two. Sorry. So yeah, the range of two goes up till here. So now I say, what's the value of sum? So the value of sum now would be incremented by four. So sum plus equal to four. So my sum already was four. I'll add uh, four to it. So my sum becomes eight now. Is eight greater than the mid value I was expecting for? So the mid value I was expecting for was four. Yes, that holds. So I no need not do anything. Now let's move to another value. So I'll create this up as well. Now I'll move to three. Cool. For three, am I able to satisfy it? So as soon as move to three, even six would come, I guess, okay. So even five would come to its, sorry about that. No. So as soon as I move to three, five would also come at, in its vicinity. So I can take the power from five as well. So I'll say add, add five to the power, it would become nine. So nine is greater than four, that's the mid we are asking for. So even that's fine. I need not do anything else. Then I'll move one step further. I'll be at four. I'll check. Okay, now six is also in my vicinity. So I can even use six. So my sum would increase by six, right? So my sum would actually now become, it was, I guess, nine earlier, or it was, yeah, it was so something uh, like nine or something. So my sum would now increase by six. But over here, we need to check one more thing as well. So on to the uh, left as well, I can only have a vicinity of uh, R, right? So uh, over here, my R is two, so it only extends up till here. So I need to subtract this value, right? So I'll also subtract one from the value and check if it's greater than mid, good enough. If it's not, I'll try to greedily add it to the farthest value possible. Then after this, I'll go to five. For five also, I'll check the same thing. Okay, now what's my sum? So over here, this won't change because I don't have anything to the right. So this would, uh, the sum won't add anything from the right, but definitely it's going to subtract something from the left because we are moving to the right direction. And when we are moving to the right direction, the thing that is the leftmost to us would stop giving us power, right? So its vicinity is now limited to this point. 
so 2 is no, no longer able to provide it with power so i'll subtract 2 from this answer sum and check if the sum is still greater than mid good enough else i need to do some operation so in case i had to do some operation in this scenario then i would have added uh, like the value mid minus sum to 6 itself let me clear it up okay so in this case if i wanted to add some values so i would have added to 6 itself but that's not the case so let me move to 6 as soon as i move to 6 i have to subtract 3 from it because 3 also is now far away so i'll subtract same from my answer and again check if my sum is greater than made good enough else i have to do some permuti uh, like do some operations now in case of 6 where should i add the value it doesn't matter actually i can add it to any of these three numbers because there is nothing to the right of 6 but as per our algorithm we'll try to add it to the rightmost available available power station that is 6 itself so we'll add it to 6 i guess that's enough of an explanation now let's move to the code the code actually is pretty simple so this is the general you can say general code we write for um, binary search so i'm taking low high mid all the stuff over here just uh, like take care of the high itself because the number of high can actually be big so it's not like you will take uh, one in one in five or something so it has to be big even i guess one, on, one in nine would satisfy or let me just take one in fifteen because the answer actually they want is in long long itself so they are expecting a big value cool with that what i am doing is i am taking a sum and then i am also uh, so the only reason i am taking it like this is that uh, that i wanted uh, no overflows in my scenario so it was easier for me to you know make another st uh, another vector that was of a long 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 type and then uh, like do operations on that itself it just sounded easier when i was coding it up it's up to you if you want to do it like this or do some other kind of uh, like another kind of a code so then what i'm doing is from 0 to r i'm adding the values to the sum because the power stations from 0 to r would be able to uh, feed the electricity to the zeroth station so this is something i'll have to do in the beginning so this is an extra step that i'll have to do now i travel from 0 to r i check if my i minus r minus 1 so this i minus r is the last station to the left which can uh, like provide the power to i itself so if my i minus r minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 then i need to subtract the power that i was getting from the station so that's what i'm doing over here then i need to check if my i plus r is less than and i is not equal to 0 so this is the case because when i was equal to 0 so for that the stations you have already computed like this but what about i is equal to 1 so as soon as i is equal to 1 we need to add another station that would be at i plus r right so at 1 plus r whatever station is you would like to add that in the first iteration then you will be adding 2 plus i in the second iteration so on we just discussed that so you will be adding it like this then you will check if the sum is less than mid in that case you have to increase the rightmost available station or the rightmost station that is fetching the, uh, that, is, that is able to provide the uh, power to this particular station or this particular city by a total of mid minus sum then you will subtract k by mid minus sum because k is actually the number of power station you can build so over here you are building mid minus sum power station so you will be subtracting that from k then you will uh, provide sum is equal to mid so other other than that you can uh, you could have simply said that sum plus equal to mid minus sum but that actually would mean the same so that would actually mean sum is equal to sum plus mid minus sum 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 cancels out so sum is equal to mid cool and if you uh, then you'll check if k is negative so k is negative actually means that you are allowed to build 10 uh, power powerhouse powerhouses but you wanted to build anything more than 10 powerhouses so that's not possible if that's the case return zero if you were able to execute this properly then return one voila so that's the entire scenario and this should work let's try submitting it yeah it works cool so just one tip guys so when such kind of questions come we have a habit of uh, sticking to the approach that comes to our mind first i personally do have that habit and this actually cost us some time because in this particular contest if i go to the rankings so okay wait a second back to the contest okay so if i check the rankings my ranking actually dropped right it is 115 uh, 115 right now but i was able to submit even the third question within 11 minutes 
but because I was stuck with segment trees, I was uh, coding a segment tree implementation, which was kind of complicated and I was definitely messing something up in it. So that's the only reason I wasn't able to code it till the end. And at the end, I couldn't even solve it. So my ranks dipped. So I'll suggest to you that if you're not able to come up with this, uh, like if the algorithm you have initially implemented is not working, uh, keep open mind and try for other algorithms as well. You might be able to come up with a better solution and your ranks would, uh, wouldn't dip like mine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the video. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Keep happy, stay happy, keep coding. Bye-bye.